Okay, so this is a very simple example of how different uh, pillars can say the same thing. Okay, so Jiazi and Yi Hai is the same pillar. Why is it the same pillar? Because both seated on resource. Okay, that's the simplistic understanding of it, right? Both are seated on resource, right? Okay. Uh, of course, they are different polarities. So one is uh, yang, one is yin. Okay. But nonetheless, these two pillars are actually friends because they are same, same underneath. Okay. Now, they are different also because one is a traveling star and one is a peach blossom, right? Okay. But it doesn't matter. We don't want to be so pedantic about it. What you want to try to think about when you look at a pillar is to think, who are this person's friends? Okay, so who is the friend of Jia Zi? It will be every pillar which sits on direct resource. They group together. Okay, so they know each other, right? Okay, now you might be asking, what is the value of this piece of information? So what if I know that Jia Zi and Yi Hai are the same? Okay, now look at this chart. Ignore the fact that two pillars are the same, okay? And if you are asked by Mr. Jia Zi, Hey, uh, what can you tell me about my business partners? So, who is his business? Who is brought wealth to Jia? It's Yi. What is Yi seated on? Resource. So, are they not the same person? Yes or no? Yes? Agree? Anybody not understand why Mr. Jia and his business partner are the same person? If you don't understand, type, type your question in the chat box. Anybody? No? Everybody seems to get it? Oh, okay. What I'm saying is, uh, Jia Zi and his Rob Wells star, Yi Hai, are the same person. No, not because, yes, because of Hai, Adrian, but it's not because of Hai per se. It's because Jia is seated on Zi, which is its direct resource. Yi is seated on Hai, which contains Ren, its direct resource. So Mr. Jia and his business partner are the same person in a sense. Okay? Alright? Now, obviously, we're not going to get to debate about which one is lazier. Okay? But, essentially, if you were then looking at this as a business partnership, okay, the issue that you have is both parties are lazy. So, if both parties are lazy, who's doing the work? Okay? So, in such an instance, you might actually say, I don't think you should do a business partnership because, you know, nobody's going to be doing the work, okay? Now, if you want to add another layer on top of that, okay, between Jia and Yi, who is likely to be laziest? If two people are lazy, but they're not equally lazy, one person is lazier than the other, which one is the laziest? Oh, this is easy. It's like Jia or Yi. Okay, guys, go. Put your answer. Jia or Yi. This is so fascinating. I'm like looking at the answers coming out of the chat. I'm like, okay, interesting. And someone cleverly says, don't know. <laughs> okay. Who has an answer? Everybody? Okay. So, uh, those of you who said Jia, would you like to volunteer your reason? It's almost equal Jia and Yi in your choices. So, those of you who put Jia, would you like to volunteer your reason? Like, why do you think Jia is lazier than Yi? Bearing in mind, both parties here are actually lazy, okay?
Okay, anybody else want to put in their answers? Anybody else? Okay, it's interesting. Anybody else? Jia is a doer. Hmm. Yes, but seated on resource. So not much of a doer. Okay. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, given that both parties are lazy, I'd say that you are slightly more likely to find the yi wood is lazy. Why? Because the yi wood by nature gets other people to do their work. Okay? So if you're already lazy to begin with and you're already inclined to get other people to do your work. Between somebody who will probably do the work and somebody who is not ever likely to do the work if they can avoid it, add the lady factor in from the resource, it's definitely the yi hai that's the winner, right? Okay. Now, the jia might not volunteer to do it, but if you shove it at them, they'll do it, right? The yi is trained to escape to begin with, okay? So when you add the resource star, extra lazy. Okay, so now I've skipped ahead a little bit, okay, but the point that I wanted to make with this is the reason why you need to know when you have, so this is an easy example because it's barrels, right? They're exactly the same, right? Okay, but many people can never make the leap in interpretation because they don't realize that, uh, for example, when I explained it to you that, okay, jia to the city or resource, he hires the resource. Both parties lazy, so in a partnership, it's not going to work out because nobody's doing the work. Everybody knows the two la the, the lazy parts, but people don't make the leap of conclusion that it doesn't make sense to have two people who won't work partnered together. Okay, so that's the leap of conclusion part that is the hardest part of actually making use of shifting palettes, right? Anybody can use it. By the end of today's class, you guys will work out how to use it, right? But it's figuring out how you're going to give the advice part or how you derive the conclusion that's going to be the challenge. Okay? So, moving on to the next example. Oh, wait, sorry. Did everybody understand what I just explained? Anybody not understand? If you don't understand, then say something. If you understand, no need to say anything. Okay, I will count to 10. Okay, everybody seems to get it. Okay, so... Moving on. Okay, so here, same idea, different example. Okay, now what are both the stars seated on? Assuming the client is seen high. Okay, scene is seated on output, yes, but Geng? What is Geng seated on? Yes, direct officer. Okay, so now you have so, of course, Geng is the Rob Wealth, is the partner of Sin, right? Okay, so now let's just, for boring example, use this as a business partnership question again because it's easy to understand, right? Okay, so Sin Hai comes to you and says, uh, what can you tell me about my business partner? Okay, so using Shits and Palace, you look at Geng uh, Wu, right? Okay, now, Sin is seated on hurting officer and Geng is seated on direct officer. Now, what's the problem when you have hurting officer and direct officer? Yes, yeah, Sunil is right, it's clashing personalities, but why? What's the term that we use? So the phrase that we use is Hurting officer, see direct officer. Okay, that's the phrase that we use. Okay, 
Now, so on the face of it, it appears as though these two parties cannot get along, right? Because they have def different values. One person breaks the rules, one person obeys the rules, okay? Now, that's one interpretation. However, pig and horse is a secret combination. Okay, uh, anybody not know that one? Does anybody not know that horse and pig is a secret combination? All know. Okay, so horse and pig is a secret combination. So on the face of it, it appears as though this relationship isn't going to work out. But actually, it might be all right, right? So one person is output centric and they're a little bit going against the order. And one person is kind of Mr. Uh, law and order, okay? So the key thing here is you need to understand the nature of the business and position the right partner to do the right thing. Right. Every business needs an output person and every person needs a, a law and order person, okay? The way to, to think about it is the sin high is the ideas person and the Keng Wu is the back-end admin person who whips the slaves to get them to do the work, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's always like that in a business partnership, you'll find that these kind of contrasts exist, right, okay? So this is an interesting example of how you're using the shifting palace and instantly you're actually getting an interpretation of not just the business partner, but how the nature of the relationship is going to be between the parties. Okay, now because it's a hidden combination, right? Okay, it may be one of those business partnerships that I'm sure everyone has heard of these. People go, no idea how they make it happen between the two of them. They are so different. Right? But because it's a hidden partnership and it's underneath, the connection is unseen. Okay? Only they know, or even they might not know. They just might not know why they get along. Right? So again, this is one of those where also a lot of people meet, right? Business partners who fight constantly, endlessly, cannot agree, but don't break up. Okay? Because of the hidden combination. Right? The hidden combination is keeping the parties together. Okay? Everybody follow what I just said? Yeah, anybody not get it? Okay, moving on. Again, if you have a question, stick it in the group chat, okay? Now, I haven't done all 60 of the day masters and difficult diagram to look at actually, but just anybody who's wondering, obviously you will notice that this is the common day monster on top, right, okay? So these are the six versions of Jia, the six versions of Ting, the six versions of Wu, the six versions of Ren. Okay, now this is the most common way to group the Jia which is they all belong to the same day master, right? Okay, now those of you who are a little observant, you will notice, for example, right, okay, that it's always two peach blossom, two, um, graveyards, and two traveling stars. Every group has a permutation like that, okay? Now, when I first did this table, I thought, oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna group them all by hurting observe. And then I realized that, of course, because it has to be a yang, yin yang permutation, right, okay? Some charts don't have the day master seated on, for example, hurting officer, okay? So if you look at thing, for example, there is no uh, thing that sits on hurting officer, okay? There is no wu that sits on hurting officer. There is no run that sits on hurting officer, right? So actually, the number of uh, day ma uh, sorry, jia zi that you have to remember that are grouped together by say what they are seated on is actually not that many, okay? So it's literally like only a few other jia zi that match up together. Now, if you are really good, okay, uh, skill-wise, right, okay, and you, you, you have this sort of quite quick, the minute you, you see a chart, so for example, let's say you are shown uh, 
speak a day master. Uh, Ren Shi. Okay, so Ren Shi is seated on its seven killing star. Okay, now you then are shown another person, Jia Shen. Immediately, you know these two people have affinity, have a connect. Why? Ren Shi and Jia Shen. Anybody? Yes, they are both seated on seven killings. Okay. Um, well, no combo because it's Ren Shi. Belong to the same season, you mean? Pretty. Yes. Okay. Season, usually I won't pay attention so much, but good point. Um, but the point is, you want to be able to recognize it when you're shown two charts and you immediately see that they're both actually the same person. Okay?